Hello Year 7 and 8. It's Mrs Blackburn here, the head of RE. Um, I wanted to show you what I've been doing for my project. As I said on Show My Homework, some of the RE teachers, Mrs Griffiths and myself, we've um, decided we're going to have a go at your project to, to try and sort of help inspire you and give you some ideas. Um, so this PowerPoint, the idea is, is that I'll sort of go through what I'm planning to do. Before I do, I've got a big smiley face. Well done for all the great work you're doing so far. I have the pleasure of teaching A10D, and A10D, you've done really, really well with all the work I've been seeing, and I've been really impressed. Equally, lots of the RE teachers been emailing me over examples of great work that they're receiving from many year students in Year 7 and Year 8. So well done to all of you, because I appreciate it can be very tricky circumstances and it can be quite hard to work from home, but well done for all the work you're doing so far. We have had some students get in touch with us and they are unsure about what to do with this project. If you are unsure, please drop your RE teacher an email. Your RE teacher will be more than happy to run through some ideas with you. Hopefully, if you've listened through to this PowerPoint, it might give you some ideas if you are struggling. And I've deliberately tried to pick up on some of the questions um, that people in A10D have been asking me and I've been responding to where students are struggling and they're not sure what to do with this project. First task on this project was for you to have a little look on the NATRE website and to have a little look at the national competition. Now years ago we used to do this competition every year and it's a really popular competition nationally and the themes change year on year and it's really nice to have another go to this year and it's a nice task to do in the circumstances because it's one that you can do at home. So if you haven't yet done so, click on that hyperlink on the website, it's on Show My Homework, and have a little look and get a feel of the competition and it explains some of the details and what you can and can't do. I've done that, so I'm going to give myself a tick. Task two. Now task two, we were all asked to pick our theme. Mrs Griffiths told me what theme she was doing and I deliberately wanted to do a different theme so we can give you different ideas. However, I really do like this theme, Where Is God? This theme has come up many years on this competition. It often comes up and I think it's because it's a very popular one. Some of you have said to me that you've struggled with this project because you feel that it's easier if you believe in a god or gods, if you're a theist, than if you're an atheist or an agnostic. And when some of you said that to me, I was giving you ideas, I understood that reading through the brief on this competition website, it may imply that it, that it is more for someone that has faith, but that's not the case at all. Each of these themes can be approached by someone if you're religious and you believe in a god or gods, if you're an agnostic and you're not sure, or if you're an atheist and you definitely don't believe in a god, you are able to approach this from any viewpoint. You all will be very familiar with the FCC, we consider all views, we're inclusive, you know, you can be an atheist, theist or agnostic, you're all welcome to share your ideas, we want to hear everyone's views. And that inclusive theme follows in this project. So I'm deliberately going to do this project from an atheist viewpoint to show those of you who maybe are atheists how maybe you could approach this project. Okay, so even though many of you know I'm not an atheist, um, I'm going to take it from an atheist view to try and help some of you that are struggling. So on task two, you have to pick your theme. And I'm going to do Where is God? And I'm going to look specifically at it from an atheist view. And when I was reading through the brief, there are a few things with my atheist hat on that interest me. First thing, it notes atheism. This whole idea of where is God? I was thinking, where would God be? Um, is God hiding? If we can't see God, where is God? And then this whole idea of suffering, and this goes on to philosophy, this whole theme is all about philosophy really, and the problem of evil. If there is a God and he's hiding, how can we see him? And if there's evil in the world, if there is a God, will God stop that? A lot of topics, we, themes we talk about in class. So, I'm gonna do it from an atheist perspective. And when thinking about where is God, I automatically thought of a globe. And I thought the best way to explain where is God is to think of it in the sense of the world. So my first idea is I'm going to do a paper mache globe. Now those of you that know me know that art is not my strength. And whenever I do pictures and diagrams on the board, we all have a giggle because it's definitely not my strength. So 
this isn't going to probably look the best globe but I'm definitely going to have a go at doing a paper mache globe and on one side my globe is going to look something like what maybe the PowerPoint shows okay so I've made a little list of the things I'm going to need and I've been in touch with friends and family who've got newspapers and I've asked them to keep them to one side so that I can collect them so I can reuse them I liked the idea of having a recycling element in my project and I've said to a lot of you on Share My Homework, please don't feel your parents have to go out and buy things for this project. Try and recycle. We really, really would encourage that. Now, I'm not an atheist myself, but I'm doing it from an atheist perspective. So I've spoken to people that are atheists. So I've had quite a few phone calls over the last few days that people that are atheists and I've spoken to people that of a range of different ages as well. I thought that was important. And one of the common themes when I said to them, how would you answer this thing, is they said, it's hard to see God. And a lot of people were saying to me that when we look at the world today and they look at what's going on in the news, they find it hard to see God. They find it hard to believe there's a God with some of the events that are going on. Because if God's omnipotent, he's omnipotent, um, he, he would maybe help deal with some of the things that are going on. Now that's one view, one perspective, and a theist would offer a different argument from that. We know that, we look at that in class. But I am taking this project from an atheist view. So I'm going to pull on that, and I'm going to try on the other side of my globe to make a collage of some of the ideas that I've listened to when talking to people. Now over the next few days, I'm going to work on my paper mache, and I'm going to take some photos of my progress, and I'm going to put together another PowerPoint with some photos of what I'm doing, and I will show you my final project. And um, I'm going to record a little video, like I'd like you to record a little video, for your final project. I'm going to explain it. So I'm going to do exactly the same as what you're doing. Um, and you can see the final piece. But just going back to that first bit, year seven and eight, if any of you are unsure on what you're doing, can you drop your RE teacher an email? They're more than happy to help you. And um, the best thing is to email us and not put a message on Share My Homework because it's much quicker for us to respond to emails than Share My Homework. There's lots of people on Show My Homework and it can be a little bit slower. So do drop us an email and we look forward to seeing all the great work you're doing and well done for all that you're doing so far. Thank you.